taken from the Ultimate Killer Collection, by Stuart Dandel. Jess Gottfried. The Angel of Bremen. Jess Margareti Tim was born on 6 March, 1785. Brought up in a poor family, she also had a twin brother, Johann Tim Jr., who would be the favorite of her parents, Johann and Jess Margareti Tim. It is said that young Jess suffered from emotional deprivation during her childhood, and that this would lead to her modus operandi, Munchausen syndrome by proxy. Munchausen's disorder is a particularly common disorder among female serial murderers, though the reason for this is uncertain. Jess garnered widespread sympathy among the inhabitants of Bremen, because so many of her family and friends fell ill and died. This was due to her devoted nursing of the victims during their time of suffering, she was also known as the Angel of Bremen until her murders were discovered. Being called an angel must have been music to the ears of a Munchausen S by proxy sufferer, albeit a musical malady that would have been very addictive. To ail her victims, Jess used a rat poison called mouse butter, which was a very common rodenticide at the time. It consisted of small flakes of arsenic, mixed in animal render that would then attract the designated pests. Jess would mix small doses of the poison into her victim as food, eventually they started to fall ill and then she would friendly, selflessly and resignedly offer to take care of them during their recuperation. All the while she was continuing to poison them. During the period of her criminal activity, Jess was considered a model citizen and was well liked by her local community. Even after the constant loss of relatives, it seemed that the friendly, candid, and kindly Jess, went without suspicion, everyone believed her to be of kind heart. Sadly that wasn't he to be the case. The first victim was her first husband, Johann Miltenberg. He passed away on the 1st of October, 1913. In May of 1815, Jess would claim three victims. Her mother was first to succumb, on the second of the month followed closely by two of Gottfried's daughters, Johanna and Adeliade, they died on the 10th and the 18th of May respectively. From there Jess claimed the life of her father, Johann, on the 28th of June, 1815, and then she took the soul of her son Heinrich, on the 22nd of September, the very same year. In 1816, she still had a taste for murder, and so she dispatched with her brother, Johann. His death fell on the 1st of June. By July of 1817, Jess had a second husband, Michael Christoph Gottfried. He went the same way as the rest of her family, dying on the 5th of the month. Between the 1st of June 1823, and the 24th of July, 1827, Jess Gottfried would murder another seven victims. They were, her fiancé Paul Thomas Zimmerman, and Alicia May Eyer Halls, Johann Moses, Wilhelm and Rumpf, Elise Schmidt, Beta Schmidt, and Friedrich Klein. One person who successfully evaded Gottfried's murderous intent, was Johann Christoph Rumpf. He would have been her twelfth victim, but he got suspicious after finding small white granules on the food she had prepared for him. He confided his suspicions to his physician and handed over the substance he had found. The physician, Dr. Luce, had coincidentally attended to several of the earlier victims at the time of their deaths. Dr. Luce determined that the granules were arsenic and alerted the authorities. Unfortunately, Gottfried had already claimed two more victims by then, and had moved to Hanover, where she was slowly draining the life of her last victim, Friedrich Klein. On March 6, 1828, the day of her 43rd birthday, Jess Gottfried was arrested on suspicion of murder. In total, Jess had murdered 15 people by arsenic poisoning in Bremen and Hanover, Germany. The crimes were committed between the years of 1813 and 1827, a rather long murderous career that may have claimed many others. After three years in custody, Jess Gottfried was sentenced to death by decapitation. She was publicly executed on April 21, 1831.
It was the last public execution in the history of Bremen. A death mask was made of Jess Gottfried. This was to aid in the education of phrenology, the study of facial patterns and skull shapes of criminals. Question mark.